Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been uh, quite a while since I've done a video with Frankie. I think, oh my gosh, I think our Halloween costume trend was our last video. That's kind of sad, but anyways, we I wanted to do a video today um, on sharing some of our new favorite things that we've been loving. I might go over some questions I've gotten recently about Aussie Doodles or puppies in general. Um, and then I'm also going to do five things I wish I would have known before getting an Aussie Doodle. Okay, so the first thing that is super, super important is grooming. And we knew that going into it, but I didn't know how picky I w we would be. And I didn't know how, how like detailed it is. So when you, and she just got a really bad haircut, you guys. So <laughs> this is a good example of a bad haircut. So they need to be groomed. Well, first of all, all doodles have different coats. Like they could be super curly, they could be more wavy, or they could be straight. Like there's a golden doodle in our neighborhood with straight hair. Uh, so the coat is not gonna be the same. And then in the litter, it could be different too from different litter mates. So they need to be groomed once a month, approximately. And that is fine, And but every haircut I feel like has been different for us. And we just took her and I literally said, do not trim her hair on her head because we wanted her to be more like fluffy on her head, but I did like notice some matting on her body. So I wanted just her body shaved down a little bit and brushed and groomed, whatever. And I also said to shave part of her tail, like by her butt. And they did the opposite. They shaved her head and did not trim her tail. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, even if you go to the same groomer, it might be a different, uh, outcome. So what you should do is find a good groomer, before you even get the dog, I would say, and just make sure you know exactly what you want and tell them exactly what you want and show pictures. So grooming is a big thing. Um, we kind of knew that going in, but it's a bigger deal than we thought it was going to be. The next anyway. thing, this is something we didn't realize um, that we did like good, but uh, just a tip for you guys that may, might be getting a puppy soon. Um, get a puppy in the spring. It was perfect. The weather was getting nicer so we could just easily take her out uh, and we didn't have to worry about snow because now that it's snowing, uh, well now that it's winter, um, it could be ice, snow, slush, it's, it's a mess out there and so I could not imagine having to train a puppy outside in this weather. So getting it hurt in the spring was the best decision um, and we really didn't even like mean to do it that way but so that's just what we recommend. Um, the other thing is they shaved the back of her head up. So like the back of her head is super flat. Oh, you guys, it's just such a bad haircut. And I'm actually like embarrassed, but also it's good to show you, I guess, that, I don't know, you just have to be very specific. Okay, anyways, the third thing is we, like, we just thought, well, if we don't have a fence, we'll just get an invisible fence. And it worked well for a while, but it goes in and out and now that it's winter like i don't even feel like messing with it so what i wish we would have done or known is that we just need a fence like a real fenced in backyard that would be so nice to just be able to let her go outside obviously you'd have to still watch her um but she wouldn't just dart off because all of our neighbors around us have dogs that she likes to play with and so when we go outside she just thinks she can go find a friend uh so we really wish we had a fenced in backyard um one, just because it would be easier, and two, because that stupid invisible fence doesn't work half the time, and some people are super against those anyway. Uh, I always get comments about that. G is wearing her collar. We do not shock her. <laughs> she just has a fence, and it beeps. Okay, so the fourth thing that is on my list um, of five things we wish we would have known before having an Aussie doodle is the cost. And we, another, that's another one like I did research and I did kind of know, but it's a good thing to know and keep in the back of your mind. Um, dogs are super expensive, uh, whether it's food or going to the vet or getting her hair cut, that is so expensive. So they're not inexpensive dogs um, and they are high maintenance and doodles can range like from a thousand to five thousand dollars. It's crazy. So do your research. Um, a good price, I think, would be between one and two thousand. Better yet, adopting from a shelter. Um, but anyways, the last thing on my list, number five, is food. It's something that we have gone, I feel like, back and forth with. Um, so obviously, we want to get a good, clean food, and we've gone through a really a couple of really good brands. 
but it's just the sustainability with that like the we went we did the fresh food which we loved she loved um i feel like she did really well on it and her stomach and like her poops not to be tmi but um it was just really good and i see that being an excellent option especially with gut health um but it's so expensive like crazy expensive so crazy um so now we were on blue buffalo um puppy food she is going to be one next month on february 4th so we're still on just like a very small amount of or for a small amount of time we're still on puppy food but we just switched to neutro and it is a clean brand um i think it's very comparable to blue buffalo but it's I don't know they just have clean ingredients it's a little more affordable and we can just get it at our store that's nearby so we like that but food is just i don't know we just it's a big one um, so just do your research on food before you get the dog and figure that out first um i think that's important because that's something you have to buy every single month it's not something that you just buy once and it's done so it's important um and we also give frankie probiotics we use hyperbiotics for the whole family and they happen to have a pet formula so we give her a probiotic once a day and she loves it and um so yeah just do your research on food and pick one that you're going to be able to sustainably get every single month uh and one that's good clean um, we also really love the brand nulo um but they are pretty pricey um a little bit more than the neutro they sound similar um but what we do is get the new low freeze-dried raw little bits and we just sprinkle some on top of her food and that way she's getting a little bit of that um i guess extra nutrition that way um okay what do you think we should do now freaks we love frankie though so much she is such a good dog i cannot recommend getting an aussie doodle enough she's the perfect size too she's a standard um and she's about i would say between 45 and 50 pounds maybe she is almost fully grown well i hope <laughs> she like i said she'll be one on february 4th but she is so so good and she loves us so much she's such a good family dog and so if you're the person that works nine to five and has to create your dog or leave them home alone all day i don't think this is good she loves being around us she is always like one foot away from someone uh, at all times so there's that too um that could be a con <laughs> at, some t at some um times but she is the best dog i could go on for hours talking about that but anyways i'm going to show you some of our favorite things right now um because i think that's fun and we go through i don't we i would say we're pretty minimalistic about what we get for her um but we do have some cool stuff so um i got this i'll take it off so i can show you i got this for her for christmas this is a collar from etsy i wanted to do a lot of like small shop for christmas gifts so whoo so we got this for her and i will cover the bottom because it says my phone number but it says her name on it it's engraved and it's pink leather so cute and really good quality we've been happy with this she's um been wearing it for a while and it's not showing any signs of wear um so so far so good but i love that we went through now that she's almost full grown i can like we got a, a few cheaper options um we do love wild ones still we use that leash she grew out of the harness, um, but that's another good brand. But anyways, we like that. Um, okay. The next thing I got, I found this at our Home Goods or TJ Maxx for it. But this is a Kong retractable leash, and I think it goes to like 24 feet. So we live um, by a pond, and we have like this trail, and she likes to venture off. But I don't want to completely let her go off leash. So this is amazing. I thought this thing would be like not very good quality but it's really really good and it never gets tangled I, i've never had an issue with it um so if you uh live by a trail or something i think this is actually like the trail one i don't know but this is really cool i thought these were only for small dogs and like flimsy but this is like really good quality good one uh next thing that we just got today but i wanted to share because i love this brand and i'm excited to try these she had one today but today's the first day where we've been using them these are cbd dog biscuits so she has um a cbd oil she has a couple different ones that we give to her um like if we're gonna have people over and she's super crazy that day or if we're gonna crate her for a couple of hours 
Um, we just give her some CBD to calm her down. It also helps with inflammation and like joint health and stuff like that and pain management, but CBD is really good for dogs. You just want to make sure you're using a dog specific CBD, not a human one. Um, but these dog biscuits are, um, whole wheat flour, corn syrup, vegetable shortening, peanut butter, honey, eggs, and whey, and then CBD. So, um, pretty minimal ingredients. And Leanna Organics is a CBD brand that we love and use, um, so she just got some new biscuits. What else are we gonna share? Oh, yeah. Last thing that I wanted to share today was this new pet bed. Look how cozy this is. Like I wanna curl up and sleep in it. Um, the girls have already been laying in it, <laughs> but we just got this today. It's a super cozy and it's a very soft um, dog bed. And this is by Pup Show. I'll link it in the description. Uh, she actually doesn't have a pet bed or a dog bed yet. So I'm excited to see if she's gonna use it. It is super cozy and they can like nuzzle in under there. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. Do you like it? I think she thinks it's like a toy. She's been trying to play with it all day. So we'll see if she likes it. I'll update you guys and let you know. We love Frankie so much. And I love that you guys love her videos. So let me know what you want to see next. Um, I think we're planning on doing a day in a life video soon. Uh, so that will be fun. She has a much different day, I would say, than the last time I did one. She's a lot bigger now. And like I said earlier, it's winter. So uh our days are a lot different we've been trying to go to the dog park but it's either like a skating rink or super slushy or just too cold so it's kind of a rough life here in winter but um in michigan but we are doing it and she is doing really well she really likes the snow it's really cute to see her try to eat it and play and she like prances around she's like a spaz in it but i think that is all i wanted to share oh you're so cute let me know if you have any questions um, and thank you so much for watching today. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Can you say bye? Can you say bye to